sebelum tu kenal tak madam? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Today we will discuss a tutorial question for topic 3 section A only. I believe that you have finished your tutorial question, right? Okay, now let's do it. Okay, today we will discuss the tutorial answer scheme for topic 3 course behavior for section A only. Okay, now we start with question 1. Explain the following terms and include an example of course item for each term. Okay, 1 Roman fixed cost. What is the fixed cost? Fixed cost is the situation where total cost that remain constant at all level of activity, but fixed cost per unit will decrease when activity level increases. Maksudnya apa? Uh, fixed cost ni adalah cost tetap. Yeah. Cost tetap ni adalah satu situasi di mana uh, jumlah cost dia adalah sama ataupun constant pada setiap tingkat aktiviti. Tetapi, fixed cost per unit dia adalah berkurangan apabila aktiviti bertambah. For example is uh, depreciation expenses of machine, supervisor salaries dan banyak lagi lah. Yeah? Okay, to Roman is a variable cost. Okay. Variable cost is the situation where the total cost that change in direct proportion with production activity level but variable cost per unit will remain constant when production activity level changes. Okay, maksudnya variable cost ni adalah cost berubah adalah satu keadaan di mana Total cost variable ni akan berubah secara uh, hubungan langsung dengan uh, tingkat pengeluaran. Maksudnya, uh, semakin tinggi uh, cost berubah ya, yeah, uh, adalah disebabkan oleh semakin tinggi uh, level uh, ataupun tingkat pengeluaran. Maksudnya, semakin tinggi tingkat pengeluaran, semakin tinggi total variable cost. Tetapi, variable cost per unit adalah constant. Maksudnya, tetap. Ya, yeah, when the production activity level changes. Okay. Um, maksudnya, cost uh, per unit untuk uh, variable cost, untuk cost, cost berubah ni adalah sama. Ya, yeah, atau tetap tak kira lah the, when the production activity level dia berubah. Okay, for example is direct material. So, what is direct material? Example, dia minta example kan? So, you have to write wood for making table woods. Okay, ni example. Ya. Yeah. Okay, kalau buat apa pula? Kalau buat kuih, flour kan? Uh, flour for making curry puff. Okay, itu contoh dia. Okay, and 3 Roman is a mixed cost. Okay, what is the mixed cost? Uh, mixed cost adalah cost bercampur. Okay, mixed cost is the situation where the cost uh, constant both uh, the cost contain both combination of variable cost and fixed cost. Maksudnya, dalam uh, mixed cost tu ada dua cost bercampur iaitu cost berubah dan juga cost tetap. Okay, for the example is the telephone cost contain a fixed cost of a rental for a period and variable cost for meter call. Okay, telephone 
tel bil telefon tu ya yeah, actually dia ada dua kos ya yeah. ada kos berubah dan juga kos tetap kos tetap dia adalah uh, yang kita rental tu ya yeah, ada termasuk dalam situ dalam bil tiap bulan and the variable cost the variable cost is the metered call maksudnya yang kalau kita guna ya yeah, kita kena bayar okey so kalau banyak guna banyaklah bayar okey that is the example Okay, now we move to question 2. Okay, question 2 required you to uh, draw a graph to show the relationship between cost and level of activity. Okay, when you plot a graph, uh, graph ni uh, tak perlu plot yang betul-betul. Ya, -betul. semua sketch saja. Sketch a graph, maksudnya tak perlu guna kertas graph. Okay. The most important things is you draw the x axis and the y axis. Paksi x dan juga paksi y. Okay, paksi x adalah activity ataupun unit and the paksi y is the cost or in RM. And for fixed cost, okay, oleh kerana dia constant, so garisannya adalah mendata. Yeah, uh, horizontally uh, line. Okay. So, awak kena namakan the line is the fixed cost. Jangan biar macam tu saja. Okay, and then next to Roman is the graph of variable cost. Okay, sama juga. Okay, same goes to variable cost graph. You have to draw the x axis and the y axis. Okay, and the variable cost, okay, they start from zero. Okey, oleh kerana uh, apabila tingkat pengeluaran bertambah, so kos juga akan bertambah. So dia cerun macam ni. Okey. Dia cerun naik ke atas bermula daripada kosong. And then you have to name the line is the variable cost. Okey, next number 3 is a graph of mixed cost. Okay, mixed cost ni tadi ada fixed cost and the variable cost kan? Okay, so mesti ada dua-dua elemen ni dalam graph. Okay, di mana first kali you draw the fixed cost. That is the horizontal line. Okay, and then you name it the fixed cost. Okay, and the area dekat sini. Ya, yeah, daripada line ni sampai ke uh, x-axis. Okay, and then how to draw the total cost okay the total cost must start at the fixed cost bukannya start daripada kosong okay and then uh, sebab dia ada combination of variable cost so dia adalah cerun okay naik ke atas okay and then you name the line as a total cost okay next number 4 is the graph for Fixed cost per unit. Okay. Fixed cost per unit tadi kita dah define. Okay. Dia akan uh, berkurangan apabila tingkat aktiviti bertambah. Okay. Oleh kerana dia terbalik. Ya. Yeah. So, uh, grafnya adalah cerun. Okay. Tapi uh, daripada kiri ke kanan. Okay. So, dia cembung ke bawah. Okay, so uh, macam biasa. Okay, write down the x-axis and the y-axis first. And then draw the line. Just sketch. And then name the uh, the line as a fixed cost per unit. Okay, and then for fifthly, graph of variable cost per unit. Okay, so variable cost per unit just now, we define, okay, it is constant. So, you draw a horizontal line and you have to name the line as a variable cost per unit. Okay, kenapa kita kena namakan dia? Sebab apa? Sebab kalau awak tak namakan dia, dia boleh jadi fixed cost. Okay, that's why you have to name the line. Okay, dapat ni, dapat ni semua ya. 
Okay, next is question number three. Okay, we read the question first. Lenggung Rias yang berhad, or LSB, produce a product of sausage. The following are information during the months of January 2019. Okay, so terus baca required. Okay, required. Show which cost of item are fixed cost, variable cost or mixed cost. Okay, baru kita baca detail. Okay, so you read number one. Meat cost RM325 per pack of sausage. Okay, so macam ni kita dah tahu dia ni fixed cost ke variable cost ataupun mixed cost. Okay, yang pasti dia ni bukan mixed cost sebab ayat dia uh, tak menggambarkan ada dua cost dekat situ. So, awak tengok ayat dia. Meat cost three ringgit and twenty five per pack of sausage. Ha, kalau dia cakap per pack, dia adalah variable cost. Sebab selalunya variable cost dia akan bagi cost per unit. Okay, faham ya? Eh? Okay, and then number two is direct labor cost. Two ringgit and twenty five per pack of sausage. Okay, so dia buat sausage kan? Okay, bila dia buat sausage, sausage tu dia buat daripada apa? Meat. Ha, kita pergi soalan nombor satu balik eh, meat. Meat tu adalah daging. Okay, so confirm dia adalah direct material. Ha, tu satu lagi. Kalau direct material, dia adalah variable cost. And number two is a direct labor. Okay, direct labor pun kita dah tahu. Dia adalah variable cost. Lagipun ayat dia ada cakap direct labor cost two ringgit and twenty five per pack of sausage. Okay, number three. Supervisor salary twenty three thousand per month. Okay, dekat sini kita dah tahu dah supervisor salary is a fixed cost. Anyway, daripada soalan ni. Kita pun tahu dia adalah fixed cost sebab dia tak bagi per unit. Dia bagi total iaitu per month. Okey, itu pun dah menunjukkan ciri-ciri uh, fixed cost. Okey, now we go to number 4. Utility cost 9,000 per month with including 35 cents per pack of sausage. Okey, daripada ayat sini awak nampak eh. Uh, dia uh, inform about 9,000 per month. Uh, per month ni kita dah tahu ini ada ciri fixed cost. With including 35 cents per pack of sausage. Dia ada cakap per pack. So ini ada ciri variable cost. So this utility cost consists of fixed cost and Variable cost. So, the answer is mixed cost. Utilities ni, kita tahu dia ni memang mixed cost. ya. Yeah? Okay. Then, ayat ni pun menggambarkan dia adalah mixed cost. Okay. And then, number five. Tax properties and insurance, 6,400 per month. Ha, dia dah cakap per month. Per month ni maksudnya total. Okay, kalau total dia adalah fixed cost. Okay, so we look at the answer just now. Okay, we have discussed. So, mid is a variable cost. Direct labor is a variable cost. Supervised salary is a uh, fixed cost. Utility is a mixed cost. And tax properties and insurance is a fixed cost. Okay, so I think that's all for section A. Okay, so I hope that uh, you can do it and you have to uh, understand. Okay, because after this, we will do calculation. Okay, that's all uh, for now. Thank you and Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.